hello guys welcome back to our channel once again thank you so much for watching all our videos before we start our new topic my name is others and today we are going to learn sql server trigger update with sample and i am over here data expert it is very easy concept you do not need to worry just learn it and memorize in your mind so let's start the, our video first. In this we will cover the SQL Server Trigger Update example. We are also going to cover SQL Server before Upgrade Trigger. The rest two other topics we are also going to cover in this video. In this uh, SQL Server before Update example. Before I explain this SQL Server before Update example, you need to understand what is before Update Trigger was and how it works. So here's a definition. A sole procedure on a database table that is automatically launched or triggered after a SQL transaction and done successfully on the designated table is known as after update trigger in a SQL server. So I explain you very in a layman language. Suppose you have created a trigger, you have created a sort procedure. Suppose you have created a sort procedure in a database and you want to uh, you want it to uh, trigger the SQL transition. For that, uh, we need the uh, after instead of or for trigger to in order to done it successfully on a designated table. Let me show you the syntax how we say it. First, we have to write the first two word create trigger, and your trigger name is on your table name. We have to write so which table you are working on. We have to write that table name. After that we have to write the trigger name which is after or for or instead of. The, then we have to write the DML statement with the trigger name. Uh, as in the as we have to write the SQL statement over there which the transition work. And after that we will write the update statement okay, or the delete statement or the insert statement depends upon the user's query and the process. Let me show you a sample example. To make it understandable how to use this before update trigger in the SQL server and before I start it you need to remember that there is no certain keyword as before in the SQL server instead of we can use the instead of keyword in the SQL server as a trigger part now let me show you an example for it before I move the example you need to understand these are the keywords you need to memorize in, the, in yourself so let's move to the example right now over here I'm using the Microsoft SQL server management studio for the SQL server programming so always keep this line use uh, your database name okay so if it is not executed over here what will happen that uh, the execution for the, your statement will be not happen and you will not able to get the result set for the as output so i'm going to reconnect it okay it's commented the command has been completed successfully if you want to see the all the triggers name which we have used for the table for that we can use this statement as a select statement we, we will use over here i will write select asterisk from dot triggers i will write over here as a name so for the name column to get all the triggers name in the database so here are the uh, trigger names which we have already implemented on the all the tables as per the user's choice and his work his or her work suppose if you want to drop a trigger name we can use drop trigger i will write tr canada okay i will just write it this one just be aware of the these uh, sync test mistake in order to get the execution properly so i'm going to execute this one so here it is uh reboot if i refresh from here on the object explorer tab the dialog box so if you refresh here i just minimize all this one okay now i'm going to the canada states table see there's no trigger name and there's another way of uh, removing the trigger name first you open this one inside this is a table name this is a schema name don't forget that part okay then i will go to the triggers folder spending right now here it is if you want to remove from here you can use it and then right use a right click button and just delete the tab button here it is and just press the ok button here it is removed if i re if you want to check it just refresh it it takes minute like a two to five seconds depends upon the computer 
so here it is uh, we expand it see there is no need so before i use the method of how to do it i will write this thing all the statement properly suppose i have to use the server before update as example part i'm going to write create trigger then i will write the trigger name i'm going to write it as a before update okay as not as we will write here i will write on which table you are working that is the table name canada six then i have to use the instead of instead of update after that i will write as then i will write select asterisk from well something happened wrong over here i will write from canada says where said id is greater than 12 i will write and i will arrange them in the descending order so for that i will use order by clause so i will write order by state id desk okay you know how the order by uh, clause works as a condition okay so it is this part is done if you want you can put this over here like a begin depends upon you and uh, in order to close it i have to write the end keyword over here in the last line okay then i have to write the update statement so i write update canada I hope you have all the basic uh, understanding of all the update and the statements of SQL statements, how it works and how, what is the syntax. So update Canada says, then I will write set, which I'm going to set the, I write set full name, equal to Mike, then write on the basis of where condition, I will write state ID equal to 15. So what is going to happen here? So instead of, we'll skip the update statement, which is this one. Let me drag it for you. This is with the update statement. Okay, so it will skip this update statement. Apart from that, it will run this statement, which is SQL statement, which is used inside the as clause over here. Okay. That's the how in instead of trigger works, and that's what the title says. S2 server trigger before update example. So let me execute this one for you. It is completed. When I write this one, if I go to the 15 number, it's carried away. But I have tried to update the full name as Mike, which was not able to do it because it has skipped the updation part because of the instead of trigger update okay so i hope this concept has been clear out for you so let's move to the next topic as a next topic says sql server before update trigger okay so let me make a spin for you that is syntax you say this one which i have done before for you so let me give one more example make you more understandable and we can't use the before update part over here so let me do you one uh, for you once again so if i use the instead of and i write before over here first i have to drop this figure see always keep remember that never make uh, more than two store procedure or the trigger parts in the for the table otherwise it will create a problem and it will show another execution path in the new one or the new one in the old one so to remove that confusion part always use the one trigger at the one time and just when you have done with the, that part move to the just remove it then move to the next trigger okay which it depends upon your condition so if I have to remove, I will write drop trigger before update. So I will remove this one. This removed. Okay. So let me try to re-execute this one for you, make it understandable. Bit before keyword. So before keyword normally works in the MySQL, but not in the SQL. It is a trans SQL SQL. Just remember this part in your mind. Here is what see. Before is not a recognized trigger. Instead of this, I have to use 
let's heal this one then I will execute the update statement after that what will happen if we see that update statement the execution has been done but uh, it has not made any update on the table the execution part will be done very properly but the updatement will be not done in the calendar state table so if you see the 15 one uh, it, the full name is Garrett Owe okay but the uh, over here I have tried to update the full name as Mike only the first word so it has skipped the record part it has not made any update on the record part for the 15 state ID column let's move to the next part before I move to the next part I have small request to all my friends and just like it share it and subscribe it that will be more helpful for us and it will motivate me to bring more beautiful videos and make a concept clear videos for you, you so that it help you in the future part in your technology especially in the SQL server so let's move to the next part as the third line says the SQL server after insert update example so after is a trigger which we use in the in the SQL server okay so what happens in the after or for update both are the same things which are used in the trigger part both methods are same just the, the name has been different I don't know for what reason okay so if you want to see what will happen over here so when I will create a trigger with the update statement for a bit after trigger or with the for trigger so what will happen First, it will update the uh, that column name which I am updating right now by using the update statement. The insert statement will be updated also. The insert so it will insert a new record in the table. After that, when I need to see the result set, the SQL statement which I have used inside it, it will show and it will show the inside the output. Okay, that's the matter of the SQL server after insert update statement. So now let's move to the example part. Suppose if you want to just modify the trigger which you have created, use alter instead of create. Just do that part. So if I write alter, you know all the how the alter statement works uh, in the SQL server. Just like the, it you use also use for the trigger part. Okay. So I will write instead of as after. Okay. So what will happen? It will update the full name as my for the state ID 15. Okay. Then after that, we saw the result set. It will also work with the insert statement also. The insert record will be first uh, inserted in the new table. After that, it, it will show the new result set by the select statement, which I use in the beginner and the clause. So if I write and also part over here, insert into Canada says values. I will write so last record was 37 I'm going to write 38 I will rename as Emily Watson and I will write the Canada state name which might be I will root as a Yukon and after that I will write the state zip code as individual which is used as a data type so don't use the braces for this one I will write this as a unknown number as a state zip code so let's use it let's hear this one completed now the 15 the state id as 15 will update the full name as mike not the name which was old part i will update it if you see clearly 15 the, now mike has been changed because of the after trigger if i insert it after that see 38 emily watson yukon 1212 I hope your console has been cleared out. So now let's move to the last topic. As the last topic says SQL server trigger after update specific column. Okay. So if you want to update the specific column, we need to use the after trigger with the update statement with the SQL server. So I'm going to write a sam example for you. It may be very easy, easy for us to understand. As before we have made your concept clear for the after trigger on the update and insert statement that matters has been same the trigger which we have used after or the for trigger it has been worked same so i'm going to use for now as the after and the for trigger work samely in this 
we go. I will use for. Okay, when I execute this one, it will be executed. After that, when I execute this one, if you see here, the state ID, which is 16, the name has been changed of the full name column of the 16 number from the Mike to Mike Tyson. There was no 16 state ID in the column. If all was there, so it might have changed it from my to my Tyson. I hope this concept has been also made made clearly and understandable for you. So I have used a very basic example to make understand. With this we end our video and we have written a detailed article on this. The link is in the description box. You can copy the script from there. With this we have computed tutorial on SQL server trigger before update example. If this video was helpful, click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more video like this one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. See you in the next video and take care for yourself.